Time to try 18 different Little Debbie snacks. Now, I'm pretty partial to Little Debbie snacks, but I haven't had them in a long time, and also not really looking forward to trying 18 of them in a row. So let's just see how it goes, shall we? First off, we have the classic oatmeal cream pies. I do love these quite a bit. I haven't had one in a long time, but I do like these a lot. Got your classic oatmeal outer shell. Inside there's that cream. Uh, very soft and moist, actually. Yeah, it's still pretty good. That oatmeal is like very kind of like um, chewy and moist and like um, has some texture to it. And then that cream is just like a refreshing burst of sweet vanilla shit. Uh, it's good. This is like the gold standard for Little Debbie snacks. Not too sweet, but very, very tasty. I haven't eaten anything today in preparation for this, so let's see how that helps. Next up we got honey buns. I never had these too often. I remember them being okay. This is a big boy. Uh, kind of, uh, slippery on the outside. Uh, it's like if a cinnamon roll was made out of white bread. That white, uh, that bread on the inside is barely cake. It's more almost just like white bread, like sandwich bread, covered in a slippery, sweet jism. Not as rich as I thought it would be. They're actually a little bland in the cake part, and on the outside, just kind of, most of the flavor is coming from that jism. They're okay. I think uh, I could take it or leave it. I don't have any real desire to finish this, so I'll just put it back in the bag for now. Not my favorite. They're fine. Next up, I've had these before, but not in a long time. Cosmic brownies with chocolate chip candy. These always looked nice with those chocolate chips. Oh, I remember these being really, like, cakey. Wow, I can feel the, the moistness through the chocolate. They are extremely thick and fudgy. Pretty good, but they're just pure fudginess. The little chocolate candies actually give a nice textural uh, difference, like with a nice crispy crunch um, and a kind of brightness to it, because otherwise it'd be a little too much for me. I'm not a big fan of chocolate. Like, I like chocolate fine. This is a little much, but I can appreciate it. Definitely a nostalgia factor here too, though. Can't even eat, I can only eat one of these. I can already feel my heart stopping. I can already tell. This is going to be a struggle when we get onto the later ones. Here's more brownies. Fudge brownies, this time with English walnuts. I didn't even know they made a different kind of brownie. Little Debbie's on the cover like, bitch, you shouldn't be eating this much. Mind your own damn business, Debbie. Comes in a pack of two, split one off. I don't even know if I can finish one of these. Uh, this barely has walnuts on it. This, look at this, this got fucking three walnuts, four walnuts. This is some bullshit. Should say fudge brownies with walnut, maybe. Pretty much the same as the other one. You can barely recognize the walnut, so it's just fudginess. The other ones are better. This needs more walnuts, more of a textural difference, because otherwise it's just very thick fudge. Which some of you might like, but for me it's a little too one note. Let's brighten it up. Strawberry shortcake rolls. I don't think I've ever had these. They look good. Artificially flavored. That sounds promising. Oh, wow. There's cream on the bottom. Dang. That's a lot, actually. Uh, I like how these look. These are like... They look like my kind of snack. Very sweet. But inside there's like the strawberry... Strawberry jam. It's got a nice kind of like very... Kind of sweet, sour, fruity taste. Mixed with the cream and the spongy cake. It all comes together pretty nicely, actually. Because I think it's so artificially flavored, it has like a, almost like a sickeningly sweetness, almost like a Pop-Tartness to the, to the fruit filling, but I much prefer this over those brownies. This is, this was the right choice after that. I don't know if you need this bottom layer of, of like frosting. I feel like it's already sweet enough, but. Okay, I can't keep finishing these. This is already. At this point, I'd be good if I were snacking, but I have to have so much more. All right, these were my favorites as a kid. Zebra cakes. They're probably gonna be way too sweet, but I did love these as a kid. Plus they look fun too. Okay. Yeah, I still like these. Um, 
pretty sweet, but it's got a nice vanilla cream on the inside. The outside's just sweet enough that it doesn't, doesn't get in the way. Cake's nice and soft. They're very satisfying. I don't think I like these as much as I did as a kid. I think the oatmeal cream pie is more my style now because it's less sweet, but I can still enjoy these. I'll finish this out of respect for my childhood, but oh boy. All right, I've never had these before. These are glazed donut sticks. They are delicious cake style, perfect for dunking. Okay. I have no excitement left for desserts, but I'll try to keep an open mind. Crusted with a glaze. These aren't bad. These would go great with like a coffee. Inside is just cake. Very bland cake. A lot of the cake is just very bland. No real sweetness to it. But the outside has a nice uh, glaze kind of crust. Not crunchy really, but just, just enough texture where you can tell it's there. Hardened jizz, we can call it. But it has a nice like glazed donut flavor. It, it tastes like a nice Danish. Definitely could see the appeal of these. Not as sweet as the other stuff. This is definitely more of a, for adults. I guess adults wear monocles. I don't know what, what that whole thing is about. Okay, let's keep going. Next up, here's a classic. Swiss rolls. I've had a share of my fair share of these in my youth. Haven't had any of these in a very long time though. I remember liking these better than the brownies though, because they're not nearly as fudgy. Oh, but these would always come apart like this, that is the the skin of them rips off. Alright. Oh god, it's a this is a mess. I'm just gonna grab like a piece that's got the cream. Yeah, these were always very messy. Yeah, these are much better than the brownies. The brownies are just too much for me. Just pure, just fudgy, just dick stomping. This is like spongy, you know, and it's, you know, the, usually the cake is very bland in these, but this is chocolate cake, so it actually has like a decent amount of flavor. The cream is a nice touch, and even the outside sort of frosting layer, even though it gets peeled off, it all comes together in a nice, subtler way. Not crazy sweet like some of these other ones, uh, I can see why these are a classic. Thank you, Swiss Rolls. Next up, it's a Nutty Buddy. I remember these. These are, have at least a nice crisp texture instead of all these fucking cakes. They're a little melty, but... It's so nice to have crunch. And these have peanut butter inside. Oh, these are like straight from fucking heaven. Like, oh my god. I have been eating so much cake so much bland ass cake. So to have this nice crispy, chocolatey, peanut buttery crunch. This is a godsend. This is one of the best ones. Thank you, Debbie, for sparing me from a cakey abyss. Oh my God, these dessert ones are a mistake. I've never heard of this one. Birthday cakes? Oh my God, these look like they're gonna destroy me. You know, I was so excited for these to come because we don't have really any snacks in the house. And I'm like, oh yeah, little Debbie snacks, but man, having to eat all these in a row, Oh boy, and I'm not even finishing all of them, but oh my god, all right. So we got sprinkles, which are a waste of time, and cake. So these are like zebra cakes, but with the really overwhelming, powerful punch of like funfetti buttercream frosting, um, which isn't a bad thing. Like if I was in the mood for like a really sweet birthday cake flavor, these are actually not bad, and I, I don't th I think these are pretty pretty good right now. They're the last thing I want in the world, but I can I can recognize their value. These have a very very pungent birthday cake flavor, um, and they taste pretty good actually. Uh, I kind I do like birthday cake flavor. Oh, and on the inside, you can see the little the little sprinkles inside there. That's a nice touch. They look nice. They taste nice. These are pretty good. Not nearly as a, as bad as I thought I, they were gonna be. But, oh my god. Unicorn cakes with sparkling strawberry artificial flavor. One of a kind? Yeah, it's gonna make a one of a kind shit out my asshole after this. Oh my god. This looks like a food you feed a doll. Let's see. Not as bad as I thought it would be uh, in terms of sweetness. These are actually not that sweet. The inside is this pink cake. It has a nice strawberry flavor. I have no idea what this filling is supposed to be. It's like purple, uh, like Grimace jizz or something like that. I forgot to mention there's sprinkles on the top. These are not bad. Much, much better than the strawberry shortcake rolls. Those are just agonizingly sweet. 
These are kind of like what Theodosia tastes like, but in a zebra cake form. And you know what I like? I like the aesthetic. It's cute, you know, has a fun unicorn theme. These are much better than those. Those are a little much. These, because there's apparently just no trace of any attempt at a strawberry, real strawberry flavor. Uh, these are okay in my book. I'd rather have absolute falsehoods than uh, a sickening truth. And then I have no, I've never heard of these. Peanut butter cream pies? Peanut butter filled cookies. These are massive. All right. Very peanut buttery. Um, these are pretty good. They, they, they taste like any other peanut butter cookie you've ever had, right? Um, whether it's from a store or whatever. All peanut butter cookies just kind of taste the same. They're just kind of doughy and sweet and nutty. And then the cream is not that sweet. It just kind of, it almost gets a little lost in there, but you can taste it. But yeah, it's just a big, big mouthful of peanut butter dough, which is not a bad thing in my book. It's not crazy sweet. Uh, I have no idea on God's earth how you could eat one of these and not want to die. But I also just feel like I want to die right now. Not bad. Not bad. I have no joy left in my heart for these last six. But let's just see how it goes. All right. Pecan spin wheels. I couldn't even get a box of these. These just came in a pair of two. Uh, does that mean these suck? I don't know. Ooh, so moist. Oh my God. This is a wet bottom. It's just like a spongy, wet cake with little bits of traces of nuts in there. It almost tastes like apple, but I don't... Are there apple? Is there apple in this? It's a little concerning if it tastes like apple, but there's no... Oh no, it says apple fiber. So I'm not going crazy. Yeah, this is like a weird, soft apple cake with little bits of nuts, barely. There's not even, like... Are these cowards afraid of nuts? Because, like, this barely has nuts. There's just, like, little traces of nuts. Give me real nuts. I want nuts in my mouth if I'm gonna have if I'm gonna have nuts. These are perfectly blah. And then they make so many kinds of donuts. I didn't know. All right, here we got crunch donuts. All right, these are crusted kind of. Crunch my ass. What is this? Aha, uh -huh. it's coconut. That's what this is. Yeah, crunch my fucking butthole. This is just like. A coconut covered donut. They don't, that's not crunch. It's just kind of like chew. They taste okay. There's like a plain cake donut covered in little bits of coconut. Pretty blah for me as well. All right, donut train coming in. Mini cinnamon sugar donuts. I don't even like sugar donuts that much to begin with. So you know how excited I am for these. The sugar gets all over your hands and shit. Not bad. Nice, nice. Firm cake -ness, lightly sugared, perfectly harmless. On that note, mini powdered donuts. I hope Anne Marie likes donuts, cause we got a lot of donuts now. Okay, just the white one. I like the other ones better, cause they have that cinnamon flavor. This is just sugar on cake. They're not particularly good donuts either. They're just kind of nondescript cake. All right, mini frosted donuts. These might be a little bit better. Oh God, they're all melty, so it's just covered in shit. It feels like, oh man. Out of the three, these are my favorite, just because these actually have a nice chocolatey flavor on the outside, and it's more like a frosting than a powder. Or it is a frosting, it's frosted fucking donuts. But that's more my style. The cake is still very whatever, but at least we got some chocolate frosting to go with it. And now finally, their hostess ripoff, cream-filled chocolate cupcakes. They couldn't even give them like an interesting name. Oh, these comes in a, these come in a damn cup. Oh, this is a thick motherfucker. I think I like the hostess ones better, although I haven't had those in a long time either. It's just very thick and fudgy. The cream is barely there. This doesn't need the chocolate frosting because it's so rich already. If you love chocolate, you might like these. They also have a weird aftertaste. Oh boy. I'm gonna shit out a multicolored rainbow unicorn loaf. Um, overall, I would say the oatmeal cream pies were the best and it all just kind of got worse and worse from there. But I will say Nutty Buddies also S tier. These are more like eight here now. And then stuff like this, like the unicorn cakes, the birthday cakes, anything that was like 
not just blindingly sweet or bland cake were pretty good. The worst stuff were, I didn't like these chocolate cupcakes. A lot of these were just, a lot of these ones just were just like, it's bad cake, but you have to eat it. All right, that was uh, 18 Little Debbie snacks. Yeah, uh, that's it. You really shouldn't be eating that much.